Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do in SQL Server with PowerShell. And again, this isn't even scratching the surface. I've got tons of stuff on MidnightDBA.com. It's all free. Go watch it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do our demo. Okay, here we are back in our shell. I'm going to show you another way to get to PowerShell instead. Let's go to Management Studio and let's right click and say Start PowerShell. And it's context sensitive, so it's automatically going to put me in the databases node on LabCon. Let me bring this up a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and cd to the food database slash tables. There we go. Let's pull a directory on that. So I can get a directory on all my tables. Let's go ahead and look at the members real quick. So we've got a ton of properties that we can get, including row count, right? So let's start with that. Let's look at directory. Uh, let's pipe that to a format table. Let's look at name row count and data space used and let's pull that to an auto there we go so you can see how easily i can get space information i can also do something else really cool i can say directory i can pipe that to a for each loop and for each one of those i can script it and there we go, I've scripted all of my tables. Now, all I would have to do to make that useful is to pipe that to an out file. Well, I suppose we could go ahead and do that, right? So let's take that and let's pipe that to out file, right? And uh, let's make that C colon backslash ps slash foodtables.txt. Why not? There we go. And if we come here, we've got foodtables.txt. And we've got all of our tables scripted out. And the exact same thing holds true for the for the stored procedures. All I got to do is go to the stored procedures node instead of the tables node, and I can script all that stuff out. So let's say uh, let's go up a level, just like in DOS. Now let's cd stored procedures, and now I'm just going to hit the up arrow a couple more times. Let's change the name of the file to sps. There we go. And here's my new file with the SPs. And I've got whatever SPs I've got in there. I've got them scripted out now. So there you go. That's just a couple quick things that we can do uh, with SQL and PowerShell. And you know what? It's really easy to do things to multiple objects. I can do things to multiple databases, to multiple servers, to multiple stored procedures, multiple tables. You notice how if I wanted to script out certain tables, all I'd have to do is put a where is, is put the where object in between there, and then I'm just scripting out specific tables. So that is a whirlwind tour of PowerShell. There's a lot more to learn. There's a lot more in there. Uh, I didn't get a chance to show you hardly anything that, that we can do, but trust me when I say that the big deal is that I can do things on every single database on my instance a lot faster than you can do it on a single database simply because PowerShell makes it so incredibly easy. So learn your PowerShell, stick to it. It's going to take you far. It will allow you to administer hundreds of boxes by yourself if you're good enough at it. And you can do tons of things that are so much easier to do in T-SQL. Uh, there are lots of resources out there. Plenty of people are blogging on it. I'm making videos. There are other people making videos. So go become a PowerShell expert and make it a real part of your SQL Server repertoire. You honestly owe it to yourself. You'll get to lunch on time a lot more often if you can do things this fast.